Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Medical Technologies. Today we are going to see like how we can push and scan an image in Harbor Registry. So here in this video, like we will try to uh, take a demo Spring Boot uh, Java based project and build an artifact and a Docker image out of it, which we will further push into the Harbor Registry and scan it using the Trivi scanner. So this is what like we are going to do in this video. So I'm currently working on Fedora 41 server with Harbor 2.12.0 version installed on that machine. Let us get into the procedure of uh, implementing this in this video. So as a first step, we need to ensure that the Harbor uh, registry service is installed with Trivi on the server. So this uh, uh, we have uh, completed this activity in our last video. You can follow this in my blog, how to set up Harbor registry using Ansible playbook. And you can follow the video also that is present in that blog if you wish to. So with that, like we will have our Harbor registry installed with Trevi enabled. So let me go to my server. So this is the server wherein we need to ensure that we have the Docker service up and running. So this is our docker service that is up and running. Let me increase the font size. So once the docker service is up and running, uh, you can just uh, take a look at the docker ps. It should show you all the uh, Go Harbor uh, services that are started up. So this was already completed in our last video. You can just check out how to implement that using the Ansible playbook. So once we have the Harbor registry up and running, uh, you can just go to the uh, Harbor portal also to ensure that is uh, it is working. So I'll go to Linux. Sir. This is my domain. Uh, and HTTPS is the port on uh, protocol on which it is listening. So this is the hardware portal, so which is up and running. So we are good with the service right now. Now let us go to our next step. The next step is to build a sample Spring Boot Java based project uh, Docker image. So here, uh, like what I'm uh, doing is I'm taking the sample LDAP demo project from Spring Boot. So this is available in my uh, GitHub repository. So let me go to my GitHub repository. And you can go to novice java one slash LDAP demo. So this is uh, basically a, a Spring Boot project that I have taken, but I have additionally added this docker build script which will help you to build a uh, image out of a uh, docker file and attach a tag with the following version and then we have a, a docker start and docker stop which will help us to stop and start the application so this is docker run minus t minus p port on which it will be uh, exposed and this is the ldap demo image that we are in study AD. and this is docker stop which will stop the container and we have uh, the following docker file which will actually take the uh, so which is, which is basically going to take the jar file that we are going to build and add it to the docker image that is copied into the following working uh, directory that is the root directory and it will launch the jar file. So this is the very basic application that we are using. And this is a source code that you can uh, just go through uh, to understand more like how the service is working. Okay. So you can just clone this uh, repository. So let me do a clone of this repository. 
let me go to my server and uh, let me repo uh, the already existing uh, clone so let me remove this one and now let me clone this repository so now that we have cloned this repository you can just go to the directory ldap demo and you will see the source code along with all the required files okay so now let us go to in our uh, go to our step and what we are going to do over here is we will we'll just check like how we can uh, so now uh, like what we are going to see is uh, we will try to build this project using gradle and uh, try to run this project using uh, boot run okay let just to verify like how it uh, works so for this uh, you need to have the git uh, installed so i have the following git version installed uh, it just this is to clone the repository and uh, we need to have the uh, jdk so i have the following version installed So I have the following version installed on my machine. Now let me do gradle build. And this is going to build our project and uh, generate an artifact in the build lips folder. So let us see that. So the build has been completed. So if you go and do, let me clear the screen and do ls minus ltr, and you will see the build project has been created. So if you go to the build lips, you will see the ldap demo jar file has been created. Okay. So uh, let me increment the version so so that. I'm not overlapping the already existing version that I have in the harbor. So let me do a version number update. And try to build this project again. So now it is going to build with a different version number. build is successful let me clear my screen and check out the build lips folder uh, the version has not changed uh, actually i need to update the build.gradle file so here like i need to update the version to version 2 so that it will actually build an artifact with uh, 00.0.0.2 version so let me try it again. So do gradle w dot build. Let me clear my screen. And now let us do ls minus ldr on build lips folder. So you'll see that 002 version has been created. Uh, but let me clear my uh, 00.1 uh, in the uh, jar file because that is not needed for this build. So let me clear this one. So now we have the one jar file. So now that we have execute uh, build our project, so let us try to run it. So you can see the LDAP demo application has been started. So you can launch it on the following port. My screen and go to the documentation. So now we have seen like how we can build our uh, project locally and how we can run our project using the Gradle. And now let us try to build an image that is Docker image with the following script.
So this is uh, going to build our image that is docker io slash slash three slash ldap demo with version 002. So you can check docker images. So it has built this following version just now. Now let us try to create a project in Harbor. So this is going to be the project that will hold our repository uh, for our uh, different uh, Docker uh, uh, images and where it we will be pushing our images. So now let me go to the Harbor registry and log in with the admin user. So here, like, uh, let me delete this stack project that I have created. We will try to recreate it. So let me delete the repository first. And now uh, let me go to the project again and try to delete it. Okay, so now the project is deleted. So let me uh, create a project again with the na name stack. So here uh, we will create a project with name stack which is going to be public and let us not give any quota limit for this project. So now the project is created. The next step, step four, is pushing the Docker image. So here, like, uh, so once we have our Docker registry, uh, Harbor registry up and running, just verify that you are able to log in to the Docker uh, Harbor registry using Docker login. So let me go to my machine uh, or the server wherein Harbor registry is installed and the Docker client is configured, and let us try to uh, do Docker login onto that registry. So you can see the login has been successful. So we are connected to the registry, that means. So now, like what we can do is, we can tag our image. So this is the image that we currently have, LDAP demo uh, colon 002, which we will re-tag to push it to the registry. So let us re-tag the following command. So basically what we are doing is, we are creating a new tag with the registry fully qualified domain name slash project uh, slash repository name and the version. So the tag has been created. So now if you look at Docker images again, you will see uh, a new uh, uh, image has been uh, created with the following tag. Let me clear my screen and go to the documentation again. So now we are good to push that tag. So let us try to do docker push and give the version number as 002. So you can see the push has been completed. Now you can just validate it by going into the Docker uh, Harper registry and uh, go to the stack project and you will see the stack demo project, uh, uh, the LDAP demo repository has been pushed with the following tag. Now let me go to the documentation again. So now in the step 5, like what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to validate the Harper registry. So we have seen already that uh, the image has been pushed into the stack project under the LDAP demo repository. So when we, uh, uh, so that is good. Now let us try to see like how we can scan that image. So before scanning, so let us try to understand, like we have installed Harper with the Trivi registry enabled. So that can be uh, verified uh, by going into the into our 
interrogation services and to the scanners and you will see that Rivi scanner with the following endpoint is enabled and is healthy. So we can use this scanner to scan our image. Now let us go to our project, go to the stack uh, project and you can check this repository, go to that repository and check this artifact with the version 002 and try to scan this image. So you can see the scanning is in progress now. It will take a few seconds for the image to scan. So now the scanning has been completed and you can see that the harbor uh, portal will show you the list of critical high vulnerabilities and all the different types of vulnerabilities that it has identified. So let us go to this image and now if you go to the bottom vulnerabilities like you will see like all the different uh, CVEs it has been it has identified. So this is how like you can scan your image that has been pushed to the, the uh, harbor registry. And you can also go to the interrogation service to see a complete view of all the artifacts that have been scanned and what are the critical uh, CVs that, uh, that it has identified uh, with a nice graphical report. And you can also filter your CVs using the repository name. So let's say I am filtering my uh, CVs using the repository name and the repository name is stack slash LDAP demo and you can just search and it will filter all the CVs related to that specific repository only. So this is how like you can use the the Harper registry with Trivi enabled to scan the uh, the Docker images that has been pushed to the registry. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you all. Thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day.